Hey guys, what's up? It's Icon Play Jake, and today I'm here to talk about an update coming to Daisy in a few months. Actually, probably quite a few months. But it's something we know quite a bit more about now than we have in the past, or at least some more assurance about what is coming, and this update is 0.63. Now, I would personally say this update is at least five to six months out, if not more. Um, I mean, I would love to be surprised and have it come early, um, but expect five to six months, which is actually pretty good for what is going to be considered not considered actually, it is the beta of DayZ. Um, so if you didn't know, it's actually, it's still in alpha now and it will be in beta, which is a big deal um, because you're kind of like, you're setting yourself up for criticism if your game doesn't feel closer to release once you consider it a beta release. So not only is this going to be called DayZ.63, it has quite a few other names. One, as I already said, was beta. Um, it's also being considered DayZ 2.0 by the developers and also being called Daisy's New Spine. So, based on those names for it that are all being used for it, or, uh, are used to describe it, um, even by the developers themselves, we know it's a big deal. Um, the spine, calling it a new spine specifically, call, um, we know it's a big deal, and Daisy 2.0. Um, and the reason they're calling it a new spine is because of things like the new controller system, um, new animations, such as you can be able, like when you pick up an item, you guy hopefully will be able to, like you'll be able to see him reach it and pick it up. Um, that may not come to 1.0, but they did mention that. One thing that is coming in this .63 update is the new animations, like I said, such as being able to walk and eat, which is actually like a new action. Um, of course, there'll be a new animation for it, but currently in Daisy, if you're you know strolling down the road. And you get thirsty, there's no way you can pull out your can of soda and take a little drink. There's no way you can reach in your cereal crunch and crisps box and box what the heck box and take a couple of cereal pieces out and eat them. No. You gotta take a big old stop and you gotta eat that cereal not moving. Well, no this is no longer gonna be an issue and the people of Daisy have learned to walk and eat. Which as silly as it is, this is actually a this is one of my favorite things coming. I'm not even kidding. Um because it's just so frustrating, and it makes sense that you can walk and eat. I mean, I do it all the time. Drive and eat. Probably not safe. I didn't tell you guys that. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, also work has been done on improving the central loot economy. Um, and you might be wondering, well, if they've been working on the loot economy, why can't they just implement that now into one of the patches they're releasing for .62? And I guess a lot of it has been easier on the new system um, that is coming with .63. And, but once .63 is out, there will be improvements to it. So there's issues currently such as, like, you know, there's certain buildings that you just seem to always find a certain item in. Certain buildings you can never find an item in. And there will be some like this still. Like, you're not going to be able to walk into a Berezino civilian house and find an M4. Um, as far as I know, that would be kind of silly. But I'm trying to think of, like, specific houses you can walk into. Like, there's a certain house in Starry, uh, Starry Sober, that if I walk into 90% of the time, there's an orange backpack on the bottom floor in the corner. Don't know why. Just saying there's houses like that. Um, other issues such as like currently helicopters, if you've gone to helicopter you've probably been severely disappointed considering there are no firearms spawning at helicopters. In fact, a lot of these helicopters aren't even spawning items in general, which is kind of ridiculous and that will be fixed in .63. Wish they'd fix it now and I hope they at least turn spawning on for all the helicopters now, but we may have to wait till .63. The biggest thing that I believe needs fixed is, and not fixed I guess, but just a new feel I want with .63 is the fact of clunkiness in Daisy. So. If you don't know what I mean by this, I hope you do, but what, what I'm saying is, like, when you move in DayZ, it kind of feels like you're telling a person what to do, and then they do it. So, like, let's say somebody's shooting at you, and then you walk or want to run away from it. It feels like you're like, run, and then the guy, like, kind of reacts, and then he runs. And basically, like, what I mean is if you press shift and W to sprint, your guy kind of takes a second. It's, you know, you pick up an item. There's, like, a delay sometimes. You know, you want to swing your axe. It kind of feels like you press swing, and then your guy's like, okay, now I'll swing. Like, there's a pause, and then it swings. There's just lots of things, or like a zombie's able to hit you after you've hit it. Um, just little things like that. It just feels clunky. Opening a door takes a couple seconds, and that could be because of ping. That could be because you didn't actually press the F key or e whatever your key is to open the door. I'm just saying it feels clunky, and everyone I talk to agrees with this. Um, I love the game still. I'm just I'm just saying it feels kind of clunky. So they this is a quote from the developers actually, and they sp they say specifically it certainly feels like you're playing a new Daisy. So, I mean, they're, they're really hyping this update up, and if anything, they also talked about in the status report that came out on June 27th, they talked about how they realized their issues with, like, setting out the roadmap previously and promising us things that didn't ever come about, you know, telling us, oh yeah, by tw the end of 2015, we will have a bunch of vehicles and, uh, the, and the full game will be out by the end of 20." I don't know what the actual goal was, but I believe they, they promised, like, 
before 2016 or in 2016 the full game would be out and we're nowhere near that so they realized their mistakes of saying these things that would happen and they didn't happen and the fact that they realized those mistakes they apologized for them and then they are hyping us up with stuff like daisy 2.0 daisy's new spine it's like playing a new daisy i really think they mean it because they do not want to be criticized again in the way they were previously they, they really must mean the stuff they're saying and previously they've also been talking about how when they've been designing daisy as they go like daisy 0.61 daisy 0.62 um it's been like flying a plane as you repair it because they're actually building a separate game, which is Daisy 0.63, this entire time and just updating the old system. And if that doesn't make sense, you can probably find some videos out there about explaining how they've Daisy, like Daisy 0.62 and before have all been a, on a certain system, and at the same time they've been building basically an entire new game on a new system, um, a new engine, I believe, actually, ready to come out. I, I don't quote me on that, but there's something to do with that, and I, I apologize, I don't have a lot of information on it. Um, but that's not the big point. The big point is everything coming new to Daisy 0.63. Um, here's a few things. They actually put a map out, and I'll put a picture of it on screen now, um, detailing all the possible things they want to be in the game. They want it in the game by 0.63, but all these are guaranteed to be in by point by the full release. Um, but they said the majority of these things will be in the beta. So these are these are awesome things. So it's like I'm going to do an entire video actually on this map because there's so much information and so many new things we haven't seen before and go into extreme detail about actions. But I'm going to go ahead and name a few of them here. Um, there's a new stat called energy, and I believe this is sort of going to be with the system of stamina, um, as in like they don't want you to be able to run from Berezino at full sprint all the way to Tizzy Mills Air Base, which if you don't know, that is like a huge, huge run. In a real life, you would definitely get tired of that. Um, but they also talk about how they don't want it to be a system like, let's say if you play, guys have played Call of Duty or any game of stamina, you run for a while and then it's like, okay, you've sprinted and now you're going to take a little break from sprinting for at least five seconds and then you can sprint again or if you can sprint after three seconds but then you can only sprint for another two seconds. Blah, blah, blah. They don't want it to be that simple. They want it to be... Um, I've heard people on Reddit talk about like, Let's say you're you're running, and then all of a sudden wolves are chasing you, or zombies. You will, will get this boost of adrenaline, and you can actually run faster or longer than normal, but yet when you're done, you'll have to have more recovery time, or you'll actually lose some energy stat, or maybe you'll even lose some health stat. These are just ideas posted from Reddit um, on what the Daisy dev team might do about it. Um, and I gotta say, I believe the Daisy dev team will do something similar to what they're saying, considering they don't want it to be your normal Call of Duty sprinting kind of idea. Um, there's going to be some new actions as well, such as... I read in this map, carrying other players. So I don't know if this means, like, let's say your buddy gets his arms and legs shot off and he's, like, he can't even crawl on the ground. I don't really know. They wouldn't get fault shot off. Maybe they're all broken. Maybe you can carry his body to a location. Or if your buddy gets goes unconscious, you know, you'll be able to go up to the body and normally where there's check pulls, you could then scroll down and click, you know, pick up body. Then you pick up the body and you can walk at a slow speed to, like, a safe location to where you can then, you know, inject him with, I don't know, morphine. Into, yeah, oh, gosh, all these random things. Give him saline. Um, shock him back to life if they're dead. All these things, hopefully, would be. it's going to be really cool to be able to carry other players. Um, they mentioned they put jumping slash vaulting, and I believe we currently have vaulting is what they consider it, um, although it is jumping as well. And the reason I think they're distinguished in this map is because they're actually going to have a vault system. So, like, let's say you're running and then there's a, a car in front of you or a ledge. Hopefully, you're going to be able to kind of, like, your vault over it. So, like, you picture in Battlefield, you can vault over things. Or Battlegrounds, actually. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is going to have this soon. Um, and then jumping currently looks kind of derpy looks like you're kind of like jumping with your knees like forward yeah i don't know i'm guessing all this won't look as clunky and weird um another action that's coming to the game is going to be able to pin players to the ground during melee i read that it's very specific and i don't know if that'll come out with the beta but they definitely have that as a planned feature so i'm really trying to picture this like i'm picturing somebody holding a pan just smacking somebody in the head and then pinning them to the ground like i don't know if you're gonna have to do a s they mentioned like specifically having combos even so like different combinations of melee hits will get you you know to do better things or certain things um, they mentioned having each melee like, weapon, like let's say you have a sword, there is swords in the game by the way, they're just really rare, is in pristine condition, it's going to do more damage than a sword in, you know, the high, you know, very damaged condition, um, which it's kind of just makes sense, there'll just be different damage stats for that, but I don't I'm really, I can't wait to picture, you know, some fresh mods on the side of the road with a rock and a stick pinning each other down, you know, it's going to be really cool, they acknowledge that the daisy melee is currently very clunky, they acknowledge that themselves and they really want to improve that, which is extremely exciting because melee is honestly a big part of the game, especially when you're fighting the um the ai like zombies or there's lots of fresh ones and i get in lots of fresh fun fist fights i don't know if you guys do too they're pretty fun and they can only get better with what daisy is promising here not daisy the daisy developers so <sighs> they also mentioned having soft skills which is really neat um and if you don't know what soft skills means what soft skills are what soft skills means i think that's what called, soft skills are kind of a tongue twister there maybe just for me i don't know Anyways, soft skills are basically a, a skill you, you learn over time, and it's like, the reason they say soft is because 
I believe it would stick with your character um, as the longer he lives. So let's say your character has ran from Villarzino to Tizzy. The next time you made that run, um, you may be able to. You may have a higher stamina stat. Like instead of sprinting at full sprint for 30 seconds, now you can full sprint for 40 seconds. I don't know stuff like that. And that character over time can build that sprint up to maybe 50 seconds. I don't know. Maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe I'm under exaggerating. Um, but they want soft skills such as that, or like, you have a steady aim, so when you aim your gun, if you aim enough and take enough shots or hunt enough, over time, your weapon sway may get decreased, um, I, stuff like that. Like, it's really neat stuff they're planning on, and maybe you even get, like, immunity to uh, diseases. Like, let's say you catch, oh gosh, I don't know, the flu in the game, if they add the flu, um, maybe it's gonna be a lot harder for you to catch the flu again. Because in real life, I believe after you get, it's like, certain diseases like chicken pox, I think once you are cured from that, you're good to go for the rest of your life. So, I don't know, those are kind of so soft skills that may get implemented. And stuff like that, I'm very excited for. So, a lot of this information came from the Daisy uh, status report from June 27th, which I will have linked in the description down below. Make sure to check that out, and also make sure to leave a comment with your thoughts on all this information in the comment section down below, telling you that thing is very useful, and I promise to read every single comment that you leave on this video. Um, yeah, I read every single comment. So make sure to drop a like if you liked the video, and drop a dislike if you didn't, but make sure to let me know why you didn't like the video if you didn't. And also, make sure to drop a subscribe. And I hope to see all of you in my next video.